Okay, lesson 4.1 is about matrices and how to organize data into matrices. So, uh, common notation for matrix is a capital letter. So, instead of a lowercase c or a lowercase variable like x, you'll see capital variables. Instead of y, you'll see y. And that means matrix. Also, um, matrices you'll notice have rows and columns. If you have a hard time remembering what a row is or a column, think about it as a column is a thing that holds up a building that's straight up and down, that's a column, and a row goes side to side. So this is a row and then a column this has one column. So this has four rows and one column. Alright, so when you're describing matrices you describe them rows first and then columns. So this is a three rows, one, two, three, and three columns. So you would say matrix A is a three by three matrix. Um, if you came over here and looked at matrix C, it has one, two, three, four rows and only one vertical column. So this is a four by one matrix. And then matrix B over here has one row and one, two, three columns. So it's a one row by three column matrix. All right. So then talking about the elements of matrices. So the elements are the, these individual numbers that are inside. So if I said, I want to know what is matrix element uh, 2, 3. Well, just like when you're naming them, the first number is the row that you're looking for, and the second number is the column. So I'm saying this is lowercase a is the element at 2, 3, which is row 2, column 3, which is this one right here, negative 7. It is not row 3, column 2. It's not 0. You always say rows first and then the columns. Okay, so if I said find element C12, what would element C12 be? C12 is going to be this guy right here, row 1, column 2. If I said find element B34, okay, then you're going to go to row 3, 1, 2, 3, column 4, and it's 12. If I said find B43, B43, then what you would do is you come down to row 4, and you go to column 3, and that element doesn't exist because there's not a fourth row. So B, this one, doesn't exist. Okay, so that's naming... Uh, matrices and as a recap matrix A is still a 3x3 three three matrix matrix C is a 4x2 matrix 4 rows 2 columns and matrix B is a 1 2 3 row by 1 2 3 4 so this is a 3x4 matrix okay so one of the things you can do with matrices is you can take data from a bar graph or something like this and you can organize it into a matrix so I'm going to start off doing this as a um, two row by four column matrix. So I have two different variables here. I have the year and then the region. Okay, And then these numbers, these individual numbers, are going to correspond to both a year and a region. So I'm going to put the years here. We'll call this one 2007, this one 2008. And then this is going to be south. This is going to be Midwest, this is going to be West, and this is going to be Northeast. So in 2007 in the South, the rate of theft per 100,000 people was about, it looks like, 360. 360. In 2007 in the Midwest, it was around 300. In the West, it was around mm, 550. Northeast, it was around 200. Okay, so I'm looking at this bar for each of those elements. Okay, so see if you can pause the video and go ahead and fill in the south. Sorry, I mean the uh, year 2008. Okay, so you should have gotten something like this. 
again we took this information from from this bar graph and we put it into a matrix still have the exact same information instead of displayed as a graph we have a matrix and we can do some manipulation with this data now interestingly you also could have done it this way you could have done a 2007 2008 south midwest west northeast and then you put the data in here so when you're going in the real world you know a 4x2 matrix, a 2x4 matrix, you could have organized it either way and you still have the same information. So you need to be able to take data from a table like that and go to a matrix like this one over here. Okay, you also need to be able to go from a table to a matrix and that's fairly easy because all you have to do is you drop the grid lines and you don't really need this this gymnast information so you can cover that up and uh, go ahead and put it in brackets. And again, this is a 1, 2, 3, 4 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So right now it's a 5 by 4 because you say rows first and then columns. But I could have written this as a 4 by 5 with these as the rows and these as the columns and it would have worked also. So that's how you organize data into matrices. Um, it's a pretty, pretty easy concept so hopefully um, this isn't giving you too much trouble yet.